What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. Well, we are now four seasons into the Soulbound Reward cards. And uh, I thought I would do another analysis just to see how the print rate has been going overall. So I'm going to look at the commons first and then the legendaries because everything is kind of a gradient in between there, right? The commons are the ones that are printed the most quickly or you know, the most at a time, right? Or they're going to be the fastest ones uh, versus the legendaries, which will be the slowest. So we're going to compare those to their counterparts, uh, which would be like the Pelicor class and the Jin O'Shaughness, Jin Bilchka class. So uh, let's go ahead and see where we're at. I'm going to say just to keep things easy, we're at like 1,090,000 roughly across the board, right? 1,090,000 Ninety thousand across the board. We're gonna, now we're going to divide this by four seasons, right? Because there's already been four. So this is how much we get per season, and then there's going to be twenty-four seasons in a year, right? Uh, Twelve months, two months, uh, two seasons per month. So multiply this by twenty-four. Now I I still maintain that Rebellion is going to come out. Well, actually, Rebellion might have changed, so who knows? But I, I think that this is going to run at least one year, and I, I think it'll probably hit around the year mark, maybe a little bit longer if Rebellion gets delayed. But what we can see here is that we would print 6.5 million uh, copies. So our, we've we've definitely slowed down because this was much closer. This was like 7.7 .7 million or very close to the 8 million max that we were looking at last time. And the reason I say 8 million max is because that is where the other reward cards, the common reward cards, uh, like the Pelicor class, these all max out at their full print rate, right? They all hit 100%, which was 8 million. So you can see now that we're trending well below that. And actually, I would say that if if we've slowed down this much, the current has to be, you know, the, the current print rate has to be significantly lower than what we saw after the first month in order to bring that average down so dramatically. Uh, so let's take a look at the, the legendaries real quick as well, and then uh, we'll, we'll talk a little analysis and go on from there. So um, I'm just going to say 11,000 for these, right? So 11,000, whoops, that's a little too many. Divide that by four, so about 2,700 BCX per each per season, and then multiply that by 24, and we're getting 66,000. Now keep in mind that the legendary class, uh, or the legendaries for the Jin O'Shaughness class, they were maxed print of, I believe... Two two hundred thousand, yeah, it was two two hundred thousand uh, copies that would be printed, or two two hundred thousand BCX. And so when we look at where they ended up, um, you know, we 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 ended up at like one hundred thirty eight. 138, 138. It's so only about 60, what is it, 69%, right? So we're well, well below that. I mean, we're we're kind of not even at half, right, after after a full year. So that could get get really interesting where the legendaries are gonna be super, super rare, part or scarce. Let's let's use that so we don't confuse anybody with rarities here. But they're gonna be super scarce compared to the previous class if they go on for a year. Now, uh, analysis for this. I'm sure people are going to put on their tinfoil hats and be like, I'm not getting as many cards as I should be. Uh, you know, my chest drop is supposed to be 33% and I'm not seeing it. And I will tell you, anecdotally, I feel like I've seen that too. I can't prove it necessarily. I know there's people out there that are trying to prove it. So I'm just going to, I'm going to leave that there uh, because I don't think it's easy to, uh, to refute or deny to take that data and, and bring it back to the team and say that they've done something. They, they haven't said that they're gonna do anything. And so to me, the main reason for this, outside of that whole you know tinfoil hat stuff, is the fact that we've just seen accounts and battles go down dramatically. That data we do have over on Peak Monsters, and we can see that. In fact, let's go over, and you're gonna see here that, check this out. So if we look over the last three months, you can see that at the beginning of February, end of January, we had uh, a ton of battles that were happening right? And then all of a sudden, everything is just tailed off significantly. And then you can see the same thing right here between the daily active players. We had a bunch of daily active players, but this was this was before Soulbound Reward Cards. But if you look at uh, January 31st, I think is when that season ended. So essentially like all of February and March at this point is the data that we have. And you can see that it's been a, it's been a significant trend downward. So overall, there are less accounts playing, less accounts earning, less battles being played, so we've seen that come down dramatically at this point, which makes me feel much more comfortable, actually, with the print rate of the uh, of the current Soulbound Reward cards. Now, granted, 
Matt and, and uh, Nate did say that this could go for one to two years. I really think it's going to be closer to the one year, not, not exactly one year, but if we go maybe a little bit over a year. And at this point, you can see if we're just looking at the averages, it's, it's not bad. I mean, sure. Are, are, do we want like one cent, you know, two cent cards? Are the Pelicors really the best example of what we should have in terms of value? Probably not. So maybe still printing like 6 million BCX is a lot. But overall, like I said, I think the, the run rate is actually down significantly now. But the cool thing, and I, I say this in a way because I think it's positive, although it could have secondary effects that could be detrimental to the print rate, is the fact that if we do get significantly more players coming in over the next six, nine, even 12 months into next year, if we get a ton more people coming in to check out the game, then all of a sudden those print rates will shoot through the roof, right? Because then everybody... Uh, no matter everybody who's playing no matter what, what level they're at even at bronze they're going to start printing cards like crazy and there's no defined print limit on these cards at least as of yet so that's where we're at after four seasons after two months uh i'm going to be watching this throughout the year and until we get to that year mark or as we close in on that year mark um so far though i would say that the trend is not as scary as it was before and man, oh man, do I wish I had some of those legendary cards right now. They're just not dropping for me because those seem like they're going to be quite scarce and we're not going to get the deals uh, like we did for Harkla, Jin Bilchka, or Jared Scar, uh, and Jin O'Shaughness that we did uh, during, during that bottom of the market. Now, again, I'm not trying to make price predictions here. I'm just saying from a scarcity standpoint, there's going to be less of them as of now, if we continue this trend. But let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. We can continue our conversation there. Otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.